Okay, and welcome back to part three. Uh, it's getting a little windy out here, but I got the wind reduction on, so hopefully that'll, uh, you know, clean things up for you. Hopefully that all works out. But uh, anyway, if you missed it back in part two, I was talking about um, just basically like how far I've come since uh, I left Urbana back in 2007, which um, is almost, actually it is, recently celebrating five years since I left Urbana, and it's just, oh look, ducks, very close up too, you can see them, they're past the rocks, there they are, hello ducky, anyway, <laughs> um, it's just, it's been a really long, uh, strange trip for me, um, 2007 to 2010 have been pretty rough years, had some, uh, hit or miss things happen in my life, but, you know, I've largely come out of it, you know, for the better. 2010, joined the Navy, and, uh, things have been pretty good for me ever since. Had a couple setbacks here and there, but, all in all, I think, you know, I'm really glad I joined, but I'm definitely not going to be re-enlisting, just because, I mean, while I can make this a career, I really don't want to. I just want to do my time and get out so I can uh, go back to college. Uh, man. Just, uh, uh, kind of lost my train of thought there, but yeah. Um, it'll just be, uh, like I said, it'll be good to go back to college, but I haven't really thought about, uh, like, where I'm going to go to college at as far as, like, you know, what university or what location or even what I'm going to major in. And, uh, anyway. Um, I was thinking about doing something a bit closer to home because, I mean, I, ooh, you see that? That's a fish. Just popped out of the water. Anyway, I mean, <laughs> Sorry, I'm too distracted right now, but anyway, while, you know, it's nice to be out in the California area, and I love the people, love the surroundings, I mean, scenery-wise, it's really hard to beat, you know, coastal California. I mean, if, you know, you could head out to the beach, you could head out to the mountains, and it doesn't really take too much time or effort to get out there either, so... It's just, there's a lot to do. Especially like, uh, I really like SoCal. <laughs> I mean, San Diego, you only have to go like about 15 miles from base just to get to uh, some nice deserty mountains. Just kind of escape from it all, basically. And, uh, I don't know. While I like that, I do, uh, I do really want to be closer to home. You know, just... I really miss my family, and that's basically just what it comes down to. And even though I left the Navy to pursue a career and, you know, basically just get away from my family, it's kind of hard, you know, because once you've actually gone away from your family for a period of time, you tend to miss them. So I'm thinking of, you know, going to uh, a nearby college here, you know, either someplace in Ohio or, you know, maybe someplace in Michigan. I was thinking of, uh, ooh, one of the ducks is in the water. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was thinking of maybe going to, uh, like, western Michigan, you know, maybe do, like, a, like a, a student exchange, you know, that's, uh, that's the same school that uh, Roger Swan went to. So, and they actually, since his passing, they actually set up a uh, a uh, what's it called? Like a uh, I can't think of the word off the top of my head. But it's like a it's like a grant or something like that, basically, um, where you can uh, it basically helps pay for your expenses and stuff if you want to study abroad, more specifically uh, Japan. So, uh, there's, that's a definite possibility right there, but, I mean, there's also uh, a bunch of other nearby schools, too. I know, I know Bowling Green does something like that, too. Um, 
Ohio State might do something like that. I'm not, I'm not really sure. I don't really remember that one. Uh, but I do remember that uh, Bowling Green does it, and that was one of the reasons I wanted to go there. But uh, one of the things about Bowling Green, here, let's get, let's get out of the sun. It's kind of bright. Ooh, look, buoys. Yeah. Um, now we're out of the sun. But one of the things uh, about Bowling Green, really like the town, really like uh, the locals. I mean, uh, if that whole thing, you know, with the apartment didn't go down the way it did, I'd probably still be up there, actually. You know, if I got enough hours and stuff during the winter time to tide me over, but I mean, I really liked my job up there. It wasn't the most glamorous job in the world. I mean, it was basically still food service, you know, working at the Dairy Queen, but I mean, I really liked the people, you know, both the people I worked with and the people I served, you know, it was, it was a great gig. But uh, I guess going, oh, got a little ring there, hold on a sec. Okay, sorry about that. I got a text from my mom saying that uh, supper's gonna be on the grill soon, so uh, I'll just make this trip quick. You know, I'll just basically head out to the spillway, do my little thing, and then head back. So, and mom's there too. So that's that's good. But uh, I gotta remember where I was. But anyway, yeah, I'm just thinking about you know going to a local college after I get out of the service, just so I can be closer to my family and stuff like that. And uh, like I said, Bowling Green was one of. Uh, the possibilities I was thinking about. Uh, Western Michigan is another one. Uh, I gotta think of some other ones. Um, those are the ones I could think of offhand. Uh, I did. Yeah, those two are the only one I could really think of, think of offhand. I know. Ohio State possibly does something like that too, so there's another possibility. I know a lot of the uh, the bigger schools do uh, exchange student pro or student exchange programs uh, to Japan, so yeah. And I mean, who knows? There's even a possibility that even before I leave the service, I'll get a chance to go to Japan. You know, either you know get to you know either get uh, stationed out there or you know get deployed out there too. So, you know, there's another possibility, but even if that were to happen, you know, my work schedule would just make me so busy that where I wouldn't really be able to do a whole lot out there. I mean, I get to do a lot of the basic stuff, you know, hit up the bars and stuff like that, but, ooh, that's a big fish. <laughs> well, you know, I want to do a lot of, uh, a lot of the cool stuff, you know, just looking at little, uh, cause Japan's, I've noticed that, uh, Japan is like really big on, uh, like the little stuff, like little hole in the wall places. You know, that's where a lot of the cool stuff, cool parts about Japan are. And so, you know, I really want, you know, to go to university out there so I can have, there's another text. That's probably my mom, but, uh, we're almost there, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, hold on a sec while I answer. 